Good morning everyone, this is another session on palmistry and in this video I will be discussing about this palm. Hopefully the images are clear enough in this palm and uh, you know you can see all the lines very uh, well marked so it would be easier for us to understand certain lines and certain formations. Now first of all let us look into the fingers. Now fingers have a lot of vertical lines and this would more so indicate that the person is quite friendly. But look at the placement of Jupiter mount or the Jupiter finger, it slightly set it down and this would more so indicate that the person can have a bit of lack of confidence. Also you can see a drop down, you know, Mercury finger as well and uh, as well as Jupiter finger. So the person can lack a bit of confidence but Saturn is the highest most placed finger and this would mean that the person will have core traits of Saturn. Okay, now apart from that the Saturn mount is clearly also slightly yellowish in color and you know it is slightly elevated. Now this would mean that the person is a bit sad or is it, uh, is it uh, the person is a bit melancholic and uh, the probability is quite high because whenever we see a lot of yellowishness or a raised Saturn it always indicates towards some kind of a difficulty. Now look into the height of the mercury finger. The height of the finger it is coming up till the second phalange. Okay, though the mercury finger is set it down, it comes up till second phalange. And that means the person has a lot of IQ. Intellectually the person will do well, the communication would be very smooth and good because the mercury in totality is quite large in size okay now getting further ahead now can you clearly see these steps like formation you can see a step here and then a step here and then a step here and like this the rising steps are seen now this can uh, mean towards some kind of an increase in fame especially later on in the life okay you can clearly see the steps over there right you can see one and then two and then three so these are also the steps lines which I uh, talk about in my videos from time to time and this is how they look in reality also if you closely observe the person has a single vertical line over here this would mean that the person will have good aptitude towards research also you can see a lot of fine lines on the amount of mercury indicating that the person has good amount of healing capa capability also further noticing on the uh, you know on the sun line you can see the triangle being formed attached to the uh, you know to the sun line i'll just draw it over so that you can understand okay it's starting from here one point is here then the another point is here and then another point is here okay and it forms a kind of a triangle and this can indicate towards some kind of a good recognition uh, but it is found more so on the mercury finger so the person will do very well in research because it's found on the single vertical line now let us look into the heart line the heart line has few bubbles if you can see there are small bubbles okay the line is not straight it is having doubling effect and the person will have some kind of a, uh, emotional upset or emotional problems because those amount of small islandish shaped symbols are found also looking into the heart line the heart line actually is going down right and going something like this instead of going up right so this can again mean that the person does not express his emotion f emotions and feelings very actively and avoids it probably and that's why the person uh, might get frustrated from time to time because it becomes very difficult for this person to express his exact feelings and that's why they get stuck at times to time uh, from time to time also you can see a clearly marked uh, a square here on the mount of jupiter okay you can clearly see that the square is so clearly marked and this will more so indicate towards a uh, uh, you know a person who is very good in teaching giving instructions uh, having a very healthy communication and things like that now whenever there are horizontal lines which cuts like this okay if you can see these lines okay if you can see these lines okay these horizontal sort of lines they can indicate as to you know if the person is into business then you have to counter check with mercury line but if the mercury line is not present simply a lot of lines are present here it would indicate towards a sympathetic person let us go further now 
we see that this line gets detached quite early in the life okay uh, somewhere in between the jupiter and saturn finger now remember that jupiter and saturn finger between them if the lifeline gets separated from the headline that is the lifeline getting separated from the headline the timing is around 17 18 years so probably this person became mentally independent around 17 to 18 years now look into the fate line we'll discuss about the fate line now the fate line goes straight across the palm okay it's fine till here then you see a shift towards the left okay and then it goes and further branches into three to four parts now what can it mean now the initial carrier is quite good the person is quite focused quite um, um, you know honest or whatever is working hard but after the age of 35 there is a change in the job clearly indicated and more so for a social cause whenever the line shifts towards the left hand side it's more of a social cause and whenever it shifts towards the right it's more of an ambitious cause and and the line goes till the end nicely splitting into lines which means that the uh, the person will get a lot of success uh, later in the life now let us try to find few more markings which are not uh, which can be clearly seen you can see three vertical lines over here on the mount of apollo this can also mean that the person has good amount of artistic nature or artistic caliber is present in the person now i wanted to sh also show you how the you know how the mars line looks now look at this line this line almost starts from mars and then it goes down so this is more so of a mars line that is extra energy being present in the person also you can see an influence line going across to hold so these lines uh, the vertical lines or in a way parallel lines to the lifeline would always support the lifeline but these horizontal lines as you can see okay these horizontal lines are the stress lines and whenever they go and they cut the lifeline say headline and her heart line and end up abruptly it's not a good sign it's a stress which has cause problem to your life to your mind to your heart now also look into the mount of venus it's a very very huge mount so the person will be quite sympathetic luxury oriented and also can attract um, a very good natured why because venus is cons uh, is good also if you look into the active mars actually it looks to be quite protruded you can see that it looks like kind of risen and this would more so mean that the person has impulsive and aggressive qualities look into the headline it stoops down to the mount of moon right and this will indicate that the person is quite creative quite imaginative and will do well in these pursuits as well now the heart line starts from here if you actually closely observe one part of the sun line goes like this and one part of the sun line goes like this joined with this okay so this would mean that at a particular time the person will get some kind of a recognition in in job as well as fame okay something like that but job because saturn is involved fame because apollo is uh, you know uh, there now you can see a horizontal line going and touching the fate line now this at times can indicate that the person goes to foreign especially canada or us to complete the fate or the or to complete the profession okay so it is looking uh, from that aspect as well also in the bottom of the palm you can see a squarish formation at k2 so this person will, will get a lot of spiritual insights in life in general also there is a split in the lifeline so the person is likely to settle abroad so hopefully this video uh, in conclusiveness will give you a lot of insights and hopefully you are able to understand as to how to connect to palms uh, again, if anyone is interested, you can contact me on 9189515683444 or just mail me at shwetangpalmistry at the rate gmail.com. Also, your uh, palm image or the, um, you know, uh, the other uh, forum or uh, whatever, uh, at the forum it can be discussed, the palm, palm image. So, uh, that's mostly it. Hopefully, you understood a lot of points. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.